Hey guys, it's Tabby. So today I'm going to be filming an experience video, story time, vlog kind of thing. I'm going to be talking about my experience at the Ariana Grande Dangerous Woman Tour. I did bring my camera to record the HD quality footage, but um, it's a two hour drive to Chicago. Okay, the show was in Chicago on March 14th of this year, obviously. It took a little over two hours to get to the venue. We're walking to the venue. I bring out my camera to take a picture of the beautiful sunset and I realized that uh, my camera would not turn on and my battery was still charging in my room. So that was utterly disappointing. But I did get some footage on my phone so if the audio is okay, I will put some footage at the end of this video. So first on our way to Chicago, I'm gonna insert some clips here while I'm talking. I have not been to Chicago in quite a while. I'd say mm, almost two years, I think, was when I was there last for the Taylor Swift concert when I met her and everything. I've only been to Chicago, I think, three or four times. It is so unbelievably beautiful. The city is just amazing. It's just so aesthetically pleasing. And it was like the sun was setting, so like, oh, it just looked absolutely stunning so yeah um the drive to chicago was great we get to the venue so the first thing we did was we got merch obviously the line was insanely long so for merchandise i got a poster and then this sweater here the sweater is the coziest thing ever it says ariana grande right here on the sleeves and then it is this one it's the baby pink with the picture of her in the bunny outfit thing i wanted this shirt for so long and i saw that i think like two days before the concert it was sold out on her website i was surprised it was there it's the coziest thing it's so soft and so cute and i could not get anything else just because it's a little pricey so we get to our seats and it's a lot closer than i thought we were i thought we were going to be really far up and really far away but to be completely honest it really wasn't i could see pretty good. Victoria Monet opened up and it was really really good. I never heard any of her music. I did hear Better Days but other than that I've never heard of any of her music or anything but she's really good at dancing. She was really really good and then Little Mix performs for 30-35 minutes and they were amazing. I love Little Mix. I love their new album. So yeah and then I Frankie was there. Oh my god. I'd say it was around nine o'clock. Ariana had a 10 minute countdown and it was like a big square screen or like a curtain actually with like a projector screen of her and oh my god the video was beautiful i just oh she is stunning she is so beautiful and so stunning and so that video was playing then all of a sudden i hear the crowd cheering and i thought like they saw something or heard something um frankie was there i don't know if he was in the crowd and he just like hey here i am or whatever the case but he was there and so he kind of went in like the middle of like the ground seats and he was like waving and blowing kisses it was so fun um, i watch big brother so i've seen him when he was on big brother and it was just so cool to like see him i didn't get too close obviously i was in my seat but um i could see frankie it was kind of hard to see but i could still see him so it was really cool to like no, he was there. Yeah, that was during the 10 minute countdown. So that got everybody hyped even more. It started getting closer and closer and I just started freaking out because out of all my sisters and my family, I'm the biggest Ariana fan, clearly. Be All Right came on and I didn't cry. I know the reason why now, but I literally did not cry when I first saw her when she first came on. Be All Right was over, I was freaking out, and then there was like a giant screen so I could clearly see her and it kind of spread throughout the whole stage, even like farther out. You know how like in concerts they have like a big screen and it shows them performing like up close? That showed up on the screen and that's when I lost it because I mean when Be All Right came on I could see her but I couldn't see her face, I couldn't see her close up, you know. I bawled. I bawled for the next about 30, 40 minutes. Just like the thought of seeing her in front of me, like just made me cry and it was just so amazing and my sisters were like, oh my god, like you're literally crying right now and I'm like, yeah, I know. And I couldn't stop crying, like it was like a waterwork, like a freaking waterfall. So I have some pictures, of course, some of them are really ugly, but you know, here's some pictures of me crying that my sisters took. That was me for quite a while, most of the concert, to be honest. It got so bad where I couldn't see out of my eyes. The concert overall was so amazing. She did amazing, she did so good. Her vocals were amazing and so, incredibly thankful for my aunt to get me these tickets for a Christmas and a birthday gift. It was so unexpected. It means the world and 
like this is like a dream come true and to me is like the highlight of my year already during into you which is like one of ariana's last songs somebody towards the front pulled out like a rainbow flag for the lgbtq plus community and ariana i grabbed it and started dancing with it that was in my last video that was so cool um, i remember watching that happen during the honeymoon tour when it, at one of the stops where she danced during break free and um, I just got to see that with my own eyes. That was so freaking cool. People probably think I'm being over dramatic, but honestly, like her music gets me through so much or got me through some really, really hard time in my life. She's such a good role model. I'm proud to call her my role model. I'm proud to be such a big supporter of her because she does nothing but good in this world. She's so talented and so pure. I, I just love her and I admire her so much as a person. I just love her a lot, obviously. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, I have lots of Ariana reacting videos and performances and things like that if you wanna check them out. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>